guys, it's Savannah, and it's really cold today. My fingers are freezing right now. Um, today, I'm going to take you guys with me, Miss Ugly Betty, here to a lesson at my trainer's house. Um, we're going to be working on the third level test one and two. I've only ran through it like two times a piece. So we're going to be kind of finessing that and polishing it up, getting it ready to show in April, at the beginning of April, I think. So that'll be fun because I'm... I choke under pressure, especially when I know my tests are being filmed. So we're going to film my tests today to like kind of add that pressure and to see if I can like ride through it or if I choke. I normally choke. So let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm going down the driveway, so don't worry. <laughs> um, I know I tacked my horse up and put her in the trailer. I'm going like five minutes down the road, so I'm not really worried about it. And she trailers really, really well. So if it were a younger horse that I didn't really know a whole lot about, I wouldn't do it. But since it's like 20 year old ugly Betty that I've known for like five years, I'm not that worried about it, so. go ahead and talk about my spurs for a minute because I know someone's gonna say something about them when they see me riding in them so I know these spurs look really scary but these are actually called swan necks and you see they kind of swoop up a little bit it's for tall riders my horse is 15 one I'm six feet tall <laughs> my heel can't reach my horse at a dressage stirrup length so we have these, I made these for riders that are too tall for their horses basically, like leg wise, because if I were to wear normal spurs, I would disengage my seat because I would have to lift my heel to literally touch my horse. So all this does, it just eliminates the fact of me having to lift my heel in order for me to like uh, massage the spur into the side of my horse. And I'm sure you'll see it when you see riding videos or any riding videos that I'm wearing spurs. My heel is like, almost to her elbow <laughs> so it's really hard for me to touch her if i don't have these on like the luckiest girl in the world so the barn and the trailer are right there and my trainer's house is that black fence down here that black fence is where my trainer's house is so as a kid before i could even drive a trailer i was able to go to her house how cool is that like super blessed guys i'm super blessed Hey guys, it's your girl, Savannah. I'm going to do a voiceover of my third level test too. I'm going to have to talk super fast because this test has so much crap and I want to give you guys the best review I can of this ride. So here we go. All right, hunches are right. Don't really like that. And she backs up, which is totally a rider error. That is so my fault. And she's such an honest horse. She's like, look, you just... I basically like leaned forward a little too much and I was in her face a little too much, so she backed up. And here I'm kind of suppling right, suppling right, kind of let her know I have that right hand up a little bit as well to kind of give her the idea like, hey, we're going right. And here we have a medium, which she does really, really well. I think she developed it really well. At the end, I'm going to think shoulder four, shoulder four, and I would have liked the transition back to collected walk to be a little more obvious. I think we were slow to get back. Like, there, I would have liked that already as soon as I hit the end of that diagonal, but that's okay. And here we go, shoulder in. She's kind of got some like head, she's kind of doing this little head bobby thing, which is my fault. I need to add more leg. And that's all it is, is she's just not, she just doesn't have enough support for my leg. And we have to transition to haunches out here, which is really, really, really hard because she's not flexible this way. And I hardly saw anything at all. I think it would be enough to get away with it in a test, but I personally would have liked it more. And here we do with this extension 
which I'm really happy with. She loves doing extensions. She's all about it, and she's such a good girl. She had a little bit of an uneven step there, and I think that that transition was really good between the extended trot to the collected trot. I don't like how she's a little behind the vertical. Again, I need to add more legs. She's a little tired here because we've already ran through the test one time already. And I mean, and it's a lot on a horse. I'm really happy with this angle. I normally don't have enough angle, but I did really well with that, I think. And here, this again, I'm lowering that right rein to kind of get her to fill it up for that haunches out. And I felt like I could have bent a little more there, but I didn't. I accidentally overshot the, the center line, obviously, for this half pass here. Um, again, I wish I had a little more bend. I wish I had her haunches right, just maybe like half an inch, and it would have looked so much better. I just need to ride it harder. And again, we're going to do a, another half pass to the left, to E, and I overshot the center line, which is stupid rider error. I'm going to get deducted for that. And I was really happy with this. This overall is very even as she's stepping under nicely. And a little shoulder forward to bring her back. To get that correct bend is basically what I'm doing there. And then I really like how I, man, I use that corner. I'm so proud of myself for using that corner. And then, yep. And I got a really good transition there. And here on these turn on the haunches, I always lose a lot of energy. So I tried really hard. You'll see her speed up. Like right here she kind of sped up a little bit because I was like no we're not going to lose this energy because we need it for these turns because we are so bad on these turns on the haunches which are basically like walk pirouettes and she does nicely we have this problem with sticking you see her back leg she didn't stick she marched the whole time which is great because the right is always the hardest everything for us to the right is always harder and then to the left it was really really nice kind of Almost, she almost did, but I kind of saved it and was able to kind of push her back out of it before she, you know, stuck, and that would have been a problem. Again, we have a nice marchy walk, and I wish I would stop following with my elbows because it is a collected walk, and you do not follow with your elbows in a collected walk. Okay, and then we have an extended walk, which over her like everything looks really really nice it's nice and active it's swinging and there's still connection in the reins I wish I could have got her a little lower and I normally can I just didn't because you don't have time to gather up your reins it's so hard and so I like gathered them up she kind of popped her head up which is fine and I was thinking about going up the center line next and she does a trot through this canter transition which is not what you're supposed to do but I didn't overshoot the center line, which is what I didn't want to do. <laughs> so that was okay. Again, I wish I had more, a little, her haunch is a little more right here in the half pass, but that's okay. And here, once we hit the rail, we're supposed to do a change. And obviously we didn't change. And then she bucks and changes within the buck. And it was ugly, but oh well, it's one score. We're going to do a medium, and I was so proud of this. It felt a lot bigger than it looks, but the transition we have, so we have a nice forward, like, long medium, and then she looks, she collects back so nice, and I'm so proud of her for that because she's so good about it. And I overshot the center line for this half pass. We're going to half pass back. This is okay. We can go for a little more bend here as well because this is a more flexible way, and she goes together behind to change, which is something we need to school more. Um, it was, it was my fault. I think I asked a stride too early or no, a stride too late again for the extension. Oh wait, no, there's no extension here. My bad. Uh, so you let the reins go here and she does really nicely. I could have let them go a little more and I wish I would have sat back a little more again. Hopefully the next ride I'll remember it and I'll do it. And here we have the extension. And so I love how nice and big she feels so much bigger here. And then she has such a good transition back. She just, I mean, she just comes back to you so well. And then we're going to carry down the center line, which it looks like a kind of overshot. I don't know if that's where my trainer is standing or what, but it definitely looks like I'm not on the center line there. And then here she like haunches right and puts her head up. <laughs> we have a lot to work on. A lot of it was my fault. A lot of rider error. I just needed to prepare earlier and the test just comes up so fast. All the movements come up so fast. It's super hard for me to be able to prepare fast enough. I just don't have that good of reflexes. So sorry to Betty. Thank you for dealing with me. <laughs> Made it back to the barn. 
We're now icing legs. I use ice horse boots because they're the bomb. And they're literally like the closest thing you can get to icing legs without putting them in legitimate water and ice. And since we have crummy crappy thoroughbred feet, that's not a good idea, is it? So, unfortunately I only have one pair, but eventually I'll buy two. And I just ice her legs down to kind of keep those tendons nice and tight because she is 20 and she is working very hard for a 20 year old. So I try to be nice on her body and help her out when I can. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that voiceover and I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment if you took anything away from it or if you learned something or something finally clicked that you had been working on by watching me do it and basically me talking about it. Be sure to ask any questions if you have any questions about what I did throughout my ride and I will do my best to explain it to you. It's kind of sometimes really hard to explain to somebody, but I'll try my best and be sure to leave any video requests you have and you would like me to do. I have gotten a couple already and be sure to look out on those as people that ask for them because they'll be coming out soon. They will be coming out soon. I am working on them. I promise I'm working on them. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.